I'm Dave Gonzalez, a controversial officer involved shooting rule justified by Bakersfield police sparked protests outside the department yesterday. In December, an officer shot and killed a 73 year old man who did not have a weapon. But even though the BPD cleared the officer who pulled the trigger, this case is far from closed. Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Powers joins us live to explain the lingering legal repercussions. Kristen. Yeah, Dave and Rochelle, even though the police department is saying the shooting is justified, those findings could still change now that the case is here in the hands of the district attorney's office. After reviewing what happened, the night 73-year-old Francisco Serna was shot and killed by a police officer. Looking at witness statements, officer statements, evidence, and the investigation done by the department's Critical Incident Review Board, Bakersfield Police Chief Lyle Martin announced this. My decision on the incident is that Officer Selman's actions were objectively reasonable under the totality of the circumstances. Meaning Officer Reagan Selman is being cleared by BPD. But there's still a long road ahead. The reports have been turned over to our department, and so now we are going to pour through them, uh, make sure that we have everything. Scott Spielman is the assistant district attorney. He says the DA's office does not do their own investigation, but they review the one done by the police department. Critics will always say that, uh, that we work closely together and so that we're going to protect officers. We understand that we have our own, our, our own obligations. We have our duty to independently review these, and we take that very seriously. If they need more information about the Serna case, we would ask them for it. And if they weren't able to it or, or were not willing to, then we would conduct that portion of an investigation. Here's what the DA's office is looking for. We're looking to determine whether or not uh, what happened was criminal. Uh, and if if what happened is not criminal, then if it's ruled to be justified under the circumstances, then there wouldn't be any action on our part. Uh, if we determine it to be criminal, then we'd make a determination as to what level of crime it is. As for how long it will take, the DA's office says it's too early to say. And the FBI is also reviewing this case per Chief Martin's request. Now, we've reached out to them numerous times, but as of now, we have not heard back yet. Reporting in downtown Bakersfield, I'm Kristen Powers, Eyewitness News. Back to you. All right, Kristen, thank you.